everyone, it's Mimsy here. I'm gonna to talk to you about brass and how to polish brass. And first of all, whether or not you've got solid brass or if you've got brass plated, the telltale, telltale sign of solid brass is if it's magnetic. So take a magnet and stick it to the brass and see if it sticks. If the magnet sticks, then you know you've got brass plated. If it won't stick anywhere on there, that means that that is solid brass, and you know that it's plated because it's some other steel, stainless steel or another metal underneath the brass. So that's how you know that it's plated. So this is solid brass, and I'm going to show you another couple pieces that I've got um, that I'm working on cleaning, and I'll show you that as well. Okay, so here we are in my workroom. I picked up this campaigner dresser, and it has these brass drawer poles, which are, you know, the style, the campaign style drawer poles. I stuck the magnet to this, and these are solid brass. None of this is sticking. They do have this plate on the back, and that plate on the back is steel or, you know, something else. I also have this um, fireplace screen over here that I was trying to polish also, and um, this is this is not solid brass. It is plated. So if you have a piece that's plated brass, you probably don't want to use a brass polish. If you do, use a very soft cloth to polish it and use soap and water, warm water, a mild detergent to clean your brass, your plated brass, before you use Brasso because Brasso and a very textured cloth could take the plating right off of the metal. So the best thing to do for solid brass like mine where it is difficult to get it clean is to soak it in warm water and a mild detergent for a few minutes to loosen things up. Okay so I've got my drawer pole sitting in warm soapy water in order to just see if I can get some of the uh, dirt off of them and then I'll use the Brasso. I have some barkeeper's friend I think I'm gonna try that. Definitely don't use this method if your item is just brass plated. So quick tip is to leave the leave the brass in the water for a while. I think I left these in here for an hour or so. And then polish them with a wet rag and it comes off so much easier. One thing that I didn't talk about is brass that is lacquered. So if you have brass that's lacquered, you, you can't really polish that. Lacquered brass is like, it's almost like a clear coat that's put over the brass. And really, if that's on there, it shouldn't tarnish. But if it does tarnish, there's not really anything you can do about that because the lacquer is still covering it and it likely won't polish. Um, you can tell if it's lacquered because it'll there'll be like peeling spots. There might be parts that's missing the lacquer and it's peeling. So that's, that's how you know it's lacquered brass and then you're kind of stuck. So this one's done polished. That's the way it looks. Still a little bit of burnishing here, but I'm okay with that. Far better than, let's see. Oh, these are already starting to get clean. Just sitting in here. See the difference? See the handle on the un one, undone one? How dark that is and how nice and bright the handle is here? That's how they look before and after. I'm gonna show you this fireplace screen real quick because I just used Brasso on it and I let it set up pretty much dried like that. And then if it dries like that, then you need to take a wet rag and polish it with the wet rag. And I did that and look at how nice that polish is there. See how nice that polish is? And then use a wet rag and there it is, unpolished. One quick thing real on the um, campaign dresser, these are not brass, they weren't even they weren't even plated. So I used rub and buff on those and they look a little bit different from the handles when the handles are, there's the brass handle and there's the rub and buff. So it does look a little bit different, but still 